I learned how to drive on a 1998 Ford Taurus station wagon, and now here you have it, the Ojo electric scooter, which is created in a licensing partnership with Ford. And uh, you know what? I would prefer this over a Taurus station wagon any day. You may be noticing this a lot more. Grown adults riding on something that looks like a scooter. Why would a company like Ford want to be doing a licensing deal with a scooter company, they're a car company? Any auto manufacturer is looking at the future and saying, what's the future of cars, what's the future of mobility, what's the future of movement, if you will? Um, you know, no one really says transportation anymore, right. now it's mobility. Mobility, yeah. So I think Ford, as a company, is looking for mobility solutions to bring to the marketplace. And I think they saw this scooter, they, they love the look, feel of it, the aerodynamics, the structure of it. And uh, it was just, it was a win-win for us to partner with them and for them to be on the cutting edge of something cool in, in the scooter industry. What's happening right now is that the last mile commute where you're getting maybe from the train station to your office or you're getting from the subway station to your apartment, that last mile is becoming very crowded right now. You have boosted boards, you have city bike, you have electric scooters. You know, we've been selling in retail outlets online in our store as well as through Amazon as well as through many bike shops around the country so yes it has been available. What this is about is not really the hardware that's on the street. We're seeing companies like Ford doing licensing deals with electric scooter companies because they're experimenting they're trying different things. Yeah and you guys are not alone I mean they're making investments in, into all kinds of different mobility solutions as are most OEMs right now. It's, it's a bit of an arms race I would say. I think the addressable market here is massive. Uh, I think it's kind of unlimited, if you will. We are shifting our business model a little bit away from retail, more towards rideshare. The, the space has kind of become known as a space of disruption. Um, folks coming in, other competitors coming in, dropping their scooters, not working through city councils, not working on the proper permitting. Our model is the complete opposite. We're taking a very collaborative approach to scooters. We think we have a one, a better scooter, better mousetrap, if you will, a safer one. And our plan is to go through the cities, not around them, to get their buy-in, which we think will lead to a smoother deployment and safer deployment. What cities want, the municipalities, is the data. They want to know where these vehicles are being taken, how, what routes people are using, how long people are using them. And for a city, that could help with things like traffic management, uh, planning new infrastructure projects and public transportation routes. And maybe one day you'll be a Ford subscriber to Ford Mobility, which would cover your car and your electric scooter and your boosted board maybe. So that, that's the kind of place that we're seeing happening now and that's the long tail on where we're headed with this stuff.